seen you any stupid thing or you want so 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 oh, hang up the phone hang up the phone hello my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen if this is the first time that you are seeing me thank you so much for stopping by hey let's I am at work now i have to start driving home because i'm going to tell you guys just a little gist hopefully this phone will not fall out from where it is what happened oh my god you can't believe it a woman was kidnapped one woman was so dumb no i can't be on the road let me just park my car and tell you one woman was so dumb that they kidnapped her <laughs> She was telling the story herself. Oh, that somebody sent her a, um, a message on her phone. Sent her a message on her phone and told her that that she won. Um, no, that she has a parcel by DHL. And she said, mm, "I don't have it." No, sent her a, a phone, a, a number on her phone, and said, and then call her. And she has all the number that called her. And say you have a pass a, a parcel from DHL. Uh, she said I don't have anything from DHL. The number called her back and said, "What is your bus stop? That means what is the route of you going home? What bus stop do you stop?" This woman stupidly went told them the bus stop, knowing the place that we come from, knowing the insecurity in the land. She told them the, the bus <laughs> when I was watching this, I say, is this a joke? He told them the bus stop that she was going to stop. And she went to that bus stop. Lord have mercy. I will sleep at work that day. If I know somebody is chasing me, asking me my bus stop, I will take a drop that day. I will not follow bus stop. I will take a taxi and go straight to my house. I don't care how much it costs. I will not use a bus that day. She told them the bus stop that she was going to. And then she came to the bus stop and stopped. <laughs> hey, Jesus. You see, eh? In Nigeria, they have different, different ways that they, that they uh, kidnap people. Or they, or, that, or they dupe your money from your bank. One of the ways is they send you a... a, a, a a fake number on your phone they just random phone then they call that random phone that they sent that number you pick up the phone they say oh i am very very sorry there's a number that i put i sent on your number uh by mistake please send it back to me you didn't ask yourself why should i send you a number that you just sent me by mistake now you found the number and sent it to me your brain will not tell you not to send that number back. That is wrong. For somebody said they sent you a number that you should send it back. And when you send that number back to them, they use that's a way of them getting all your information and clean your account. And they always get them. So let me not move away from the story I was telling you. The woman went to the bus stop that they asked her, what bus stop do you use? And he, she told them. And she stopped there. She said when she got there, she saw people in Mufti. And they, they, they commanded her to get in the car. She said she asked them. <laughs> she might as well get inside the car. You might as well get inside the car. Because that's, it's no use. You have already uh, gone to the place. That you are not supposed to go. That you are not even supposed to tell them. You went over there. So she said... Uh, they told her, they commanded her to get inside the car. She said, why should I follow you? That's a stupid question. Why should you ask them that? You were already in the bus stop. Follow them. She said, she before she even came, she told them that she didn't have parcel with the DHL. That is the more reason for you to even hang up. When somebody somebody calls my house and said, oh, I found out that your, um, your computer is so, 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 so. I pick up the phone. I say, which computer? Uh, they say uh, uh, your laptop. Are you sitting on your desk? I said which one? I have. I have how many? Um, they say. I said is the land is the uh, uh, 
table one or the laptop or which one is it they say it's the table one i say okay i'm sitting on it now what is the problem they say click on it i say okay i've already clicked on it what do you want all those things are here too we know how to we know how to take them off the radar she followed them to the bus stop then when they told her to get in the car she said no i don't know who you are you don't know who they are and you told them <laughs> you told them your bus stop now that they want you to get in the car you don't want to get in the car so you know what that means they beat her and beat her and beat her black and blue after they finished beating her with a gun they put her inside mufti and they told her that they will never see her again they carry her to the whatever police station that they said they took her i don't know what police station that would just carry somebody it's not police station it's their station of their uh, criminal criminality they put her in jail she said she was in jail for 11 days after she came out they came to her house <laughs> jesus sometimes when they're telling some of these stories it's like it's like film it's like uh, we are doing film preview. They came to her house. They asked the woman, what do you do? The woman said, eh, eh, I sell uh, handbags for women. They came and carry all the handbags that, I think she said she, they carry two or three that she has already sold, but she hasn't sent it out to the people. They carried it, they carried, she listed all the things that they carried from, from her house. <laughs> Jesus. After all that, they took all the money the woman have. Then they still kidnapped the husband. The, the people asked, where is your husband now? She said the husband is in the custody with them. My dear, they said no grimy talk today. After I watched this woman tell us that she was the one that told them that she didn't have uh, any parcel that she suspected and she was the one that told them the bus stop that she was going with and she still went to the bus stop and stopped <laughs> after knowing all the insecurity in our land you stop there and you stop and then when they told you to get inside the car you say you're not going to get because you don't want to get into the car of people that you don't know. But you told them who you were. You told them, oh, 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 they, they asked you where your bus stop is. You told them everything. So I beg my people, borrow yourself sense. Just if you don't have any, just take your children's own and put in your own. Because I can't give you my own. My own is for me and for me alone. Take your children's own a little bit. Just ask them to give you a little bit so you can put in your own. And she said she was crying that she has a premature child of six months. That she had, uh, the child was six months when she had the baby. So the baby is not well. She is not trying. You have all this in mind. You know you have a premature child at home. You left your premature to go to get parcel that you know you were not expecting. So my people, when people call you and say you are expecting whatever it is that they say you are expecting and you know you are not expecting anything, please hang up the phone. America will tell you if anybody call you on the phone asking you any stupid thing or you want so, 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 oh, hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Because uh, IRS, the people that are supposed to send you whatever it is that they are calling you for, will not call you on the phone. They will write you. You get it in the mail. They don't deal with phone. They deal with letter. Mail. Not even email. They don't send you email. They put it in the letter. Black and white. So that when you get it, you read it. You have it in a hard copy. So please, my lovely people, don't let people keep deceiving you. Do not let people keep deceiving you or say that you want this, you get this, and you keep getting into problems. You keep being kidnapped. Everybody try and be safe. Be safe. Try your best to protect yourself. Don't open yourself up for evil people. Because this woman, I tell you, she opened herself up for these people. And they really, really did her in. So that shall never, never be. As long as you have your sense, it will never happen to you. So use your sense. Put it on at all times. Don't let them 
don't let other people use use you for the hard earned money that you work hard for because you don't have sense god bless you guys that's all i have i saw it i don't start i come and tell you guys may god bless you bye bye